Welcome to my little tutorial on um, BandLabs. In this one we're looking at uh, volume um, and panning and automating the um, volume and panning in your tracks. This will add a little bit of uh, character and just change up your tracks from sounding uh, very blocky and just make it a little bit more humanized in um, how it's being played, particularly if you're using um, MIDI enabled instruments and software instruments. So. Um, first thing I'll point out is here we've got our volume control over here on each of the tracks and they're quite noticeable so when you select it you'll be able to see what volume you're at with those. Um, the next thing you've got here you've got your pan left and right so you can actually permanently just adjust it and that affects the whole track from start to finish when you adjust these ones here. Um, what I want to look at now is the automation but before I start changing anything, so let's just have a starting point of what this sounds like. So let's have a bit of a listen. Okay, so that's what it sounds like at the moment. Without any adjustments to the volume, it's just as I've recorded it in. So let's have a look at this. So once we click this on, we can see the volume word appears here. And when we click on it, we see the pan. So with volume, you can see the volume's up here. So it's a nice solid volume. We can take it up a bit higher on our chart and it'll get louder we can bring it right down and then it comes down to nothing. With the pan, that'll start roughly halfway and then you'll bring that up and that'll head to the right speaker. When we bring it down, it'll head over to the left speaker. Okay, so let's start off with the panning. I'm going to do that to my uh, flute part. So in order to do this, you select on there and you'll get a point. So you can now drag that down, okay, to where you want it. If at any point you don't like what you've done and you want to delete and reset things, if you come right back to the beginning and right click on it, you can reset automation, okay? So that will reset it for that, but it won't affect the volume. So you can reset one or the other as you see fit. So let's just keep going. Let's put in some of these points. And you're noticing I can put it anywhere and drag it to where I want it to go. So I'm trying to make the higher parts of this flute part in one speaker. And then it'll just go over and head over to the other speaker. So I'm just doing this quickly. And I might just finish pretty much in the middle there. So let's solo that and see what that sounds like and see if you can hear it panning, particularly when it goes a little bit further apart. Let's just make some of these a little more extreme so you can notice the difference.
Okay, so that's that one. Hopefully you were able to hear it just appear in the other speaker. Let's just do this other instrument. Similar sort of line. Just going to make this one a little bit more drastic. Because when you're in the middle, it'll sound like both speakers. There we go, that'll do. Okay, so next I want to look at volume. So I'm going to come back to my piano part. Now when I played the piano part, I felt this was quite loud. And the introduction, I kind of want this to fade in a little bit. So I want it slowly build up. So I'm going to bring this right down. And over these first four bars, it's going to come in. And I'm going to do that for all the tracks. So drums is going to come in with that hi-hat click. I'm going to move over to volume. The flute is going to come in. I want that a little bit louder. Oh, I've done that the wrong one. Let's change that because I don't want that to be volume. Right click, come on. Reset because I want that to be pan. Let's fix up that pan. I want that to mirror that one. Okay, so now let's click that back to volume. And I want that to fade in. Okay, and then at the end, I want this one, I want it to fade out. So I might, as I'm playing it, I might fix that up as we're going along. Here we go, let's have another listen and I'll adjust this as we're going. Okay, so hopefully you found that um, giving you a few ideas, helps it give you a few ideas. And yeah, hopefully you can make a better arrangement because of this. Um, go back, have a listen to the beginning, see if you enjoyed the differences that I made. Um, and hopefully you can apply some of these sorts of skills to your songs that you create. So thank you for listening.